And now we get to judge Maple how he does on that rise as well when he has to walk forward in fights to catch the victim, to catch the Ezreal while they kite, you know, Victor Ezreal incredibly potent at the board. He's now getting behind Puppy. Flash was have no idea that this is coming. And it's even during Mega Nair. The stun was already used by NMD. Oh, he took back into it. And the flash to oh. Mechanically perfect from Meteos. A mistake by NMD, of course. You can see it whenever he moves up. Also, they can see Meteos. He's going to contest Sword Art. Oh, the... the flash to chop him down. Here's two teammates. Meteos. Oh, man. Assassinated. Nicely done by Karsa and the rest of Flash Wolves. Super aggro. Find a split push against MMD. You can see Karsa is going down towards the bottom side, though. They're going to try and prey on Impact's aggressive tendencies. They might be able to. Here's the knockup. Here's going to be the rest of the damage. It's releasing. Kicks him around. The Big Gnar comes through, and he's going to flash to try to get away. The skill shots will come up soon. There's the flash. He's going to get the follow, and he dodges the stun. Beautiful by Karsa, getting the kill on the impact. Very, very Flash Wolves with no answer from Cloud9. They are doing a very good job in the mid game, keeping up the pressure. And look at that play, the tackle on a Jensen. Beautifully done, Karsa on a killing spree. 3 0 and 0. Mid lane out are going to drop as well, way, but Flash Wolves really crushing it. A 2 3,000 gold lead back into the mid lane. They go. Sneaky cannot stop this wave enough, and this could be another turret. NL just knocking down these structures. All right, in fact, here, though. He's going to get a couple of slows. He's got a frozen mallet, but it's still a three versus five. What are they going to get? It's going to be Maple getting the first kill. Now Sneaky trying to get the trade, but look at the oh! damage. Oh! Maple with the triple killing absolutely everyone. That is an ace, and Cloud9 are falling apart. Cloud9. What happens when Rise does close the gap, when he does get into range, and he can actually use that spell combo beneficially for his team? Absolutely slaughtering Flash Wolves now seven. Thousand gold up, wearing a Baron. Find out. Then it's in rise to the top lane again. Puppy's bot. He's a little bit too far out right now, though. Even be like he has to flash. He gets the point blank gold. The stun's gonna land from Jets. That will get the trade kill. So Cloud9 spending literally all five players. Have dug themselves a hole large enough that they will take more losses before they crawl out. Yeah, I think you know Flash Wolves. They're the ones who actually dug the hole. They deserve credit for it. This yeah. is honestly the most impressive. Uh, last, uh, was it like eight minutes now of play? They got. Or it could be in base, it could be a Baron. There's so much hidden information and there here. There could be Maple right here in front of Smoothie. He's gonna have to flash away. So there's you know, some moments of, of happiness for Cloud9, just not enough to really snowball forward. Finally, Impact yeah. does get the presence that he needs. Some gold back in the pockets of Cloud9. Arsa? Finding him Ooh. with a kick flash. Goodbye to Sneaky. Well done on this one. He had no flash. He only had Arcane Shift, so if you kick him far enough away from a wall, he can't actually get over. Now it's 4v5, and this was a reward for the vision they set up earlier. Despite C9 making the right move, attacking the weak over to the side laner, a single pickoff get made by Flash Wolves results in a Baron. And the only option for Cloud9, the hard commit group up around the Elder, but it might be a 50-50. They've got the control. C9 has members around three. Doesn't help on the Elder Dragon. Do they even choose to steal? Ulti out for the Poppy. One doesn't help. Looking for it. The smite, and it's still gonna be secured by Karsa. Jensen caught out by the stuns. Knocked into the air. Not dead just yet. Trying to stay alive. The tackle. Gonna finally take him out. MD gets one. Smoothies next up. Two for zero to Flash Wolves. It's Karsa still alive in the back line. Sneaky running for dear life, but he's running out of health. A double kill for Maple. Impact's next up. The ace for Flash Wolves. The setup was beautiful. The steadfast presence which canceled a jump from the Cougar, which meant he just had to flash. He flashed straight onto a trap, and it was over. Even if they get to steal 5v4 follow-up, Flash Wolves methodical, clean, calm, and collected. And it means Flash Wolves stays alive at the World Championship here. Now 2-3 and three alongside Cloud9. We still might see an LMS team into the top eight. Flash Wolves have one more opponent before they might have a tiebreaker. The number one seed from the LMS not going down without a fight. They want to get back there just like they got out of groups last year. And C9 are still in control of their own fate, however. Yeah, Flash Wolves in a reasonable spot as well, to be honest. Of course, keep in mind, Ime can get up to 